lamp profiles equals bright and phi epsilon rho omega equals to mix are uncommon. Small volume ultra potassic igneous rocks primarily occurring as dikes, lopoliths, lacoliths, stocks and small intrusions. They are alkaline silica under saturated mafic or ultra mafic rocks with higher magnesium oxide and GT 3% potassium oxide, high sodium oxide and high nickel and chromium. Lamp profiles occur throughout all geologic eras. Archean examples are commonly associated with load gold deposits. Cenozoic examples include magnesian rocks in Mexico and South America, and young ultramafic lamp profiles from Gympie in Australia with 18.5% magnesium oxide till the 250 Ma. Petrology. Modern science treats lamp profiles as a catch all term for ultrapotassic mafic igneous rocks which have primary mineralogy consisting of amphibole, or biotite, and with feldspar in the ground mass. Lamp profiles are not amenable to classification according to modal proportions such as the system QAPF due to peculiar mineralogy, nor compositional discrimination diagrams such as TAS because of the peculiar geochemistry. They are classified under the IUGS nomenclature for igneous rocks separately. This is primarily because they are rare, have peculiar mineralogy and do not fit classical classification schemes. For example, the TAS scheme is inappropriate due to the control of mineralogy by potassium not by calcium or sodium. Mitchell has suggested that rocks belonging to the Lampro fire faces are characterized by the presence of phenocrysts of mica and or amphibole, together with lesser clinopyroxene and or melilite set in a ground mass which may consist of plagioclase, alkali felt Spar, feldsparthoids, carbonate, monticellite, melalite, mica, amphibole, pyroxene, perovskite, fatty oxides and glass. Classification schemes which include genetic information may be required to properly describe lamp profiles. Genesis Rock considered lamp profiles a part of a clan of rocks with similar mineralogy, textures, and genesis. Lamp profiles are similar to lamproites and kimberlites, while modern concepts see orangeites, lamproites, and kimberlites as separate. A vast majority of lamp profiles have similar origins to these other rock types. Mitchell considered the lamp profiles as a faces of igneous rocks created by a set of conditions. Either scheme may apply to some, but not all, occurrences and variations of the broader group of rocks known as lamp profiles and melolithic rocks. Leaving aside complex petrogenetic arguments, it is fair to say that the essential components in lamp profile genesis are high depth of melting, which yields more mafic magmas. Low degrees of partial melting, which yields magmas rich in the alkalis. Lithophile element enrichment high in CR. High potassium and sodium concentrations. Some form of volatile enrichment to provide the biotite and amphibole mineralogy. Lack of fractional crystallization. High Mg hash. Individual examples thus may have a wide variety of mineralogy and mechanisms for formation. Rock considered lamp profiles to be derived from deep, volatile driven melting in a subduction zone setting. Others such as Mitchell consider them to be late offshoots of plutons, etc. Though this can be difficult to reconcile with the primitive melt chemistry and mineralogy, petrography. Lamp profiles are a group of rocks containing phenocrysts, usually of biotite and amphibole, and pyroxene, but not of feldspar. They are thus distinguished from the porphyries and porphyrites in which the feldspar has crystallized in two generations. They are essentially dike rocks, occurring as dikes and thin sills, and are also found as marginal faces of plutonic intrusions. They are usually dark in color. 
Venezuela, owing to the abundance of ferromagnesian silicates, of high specific gravity and liable to decomposition. For these reasons they have been defined as a melanocrate series, and they are often accompanied by complementary leucocrate series such as aplites, porphyries and felsites. Biotite namphoboholopanadiomorphic or a euhedral, well formed. Feldspun is restricted to the ground mass. In many lamp profiles, the pale quartz and feldspathic ingredients tend to occur in rounded spots or ocelli, in which there has been progressive crystallization from the margins towards the center. These spots may consist of radiator brush like feldspars or of quartz and feldspar. A central area of quartz or of an alcite probably represents an original mirror cavity infilled at a later period. The presence or absence of the four dominant minerals orthoclase, plagioclase, biotite and hornblende determines the species. Mean that contains biotite and orthoclase. Kersentide contains biotite and plagioclase. Vogesite contains hornblende and orthoclase. Spessartite contains hornblende and plagioclase. Each variety of lamp profile may and often does contain all four minerals but is named according to the two which predominate. Dot. These rocks contain also iron oxides, apatite, sometimes sphene, ogite, and olivine. The horn blend and biotite are brown or greenish brown, and as a rule the crystals even when small are very perfect and give the thin section views an easily recognizable character. Green horn blend occurs in some of these rocks. Ogite exists as euhedral crystals of pale green color, often zonal and readily weathering. Olivine in the fresh state is rare. It forms rounded, corroded grains. In many cases it is decomposed to green a colorless horn blend in radiating nests. The plagioclase occurs as small rectangular crystals. Orthoclase may have similar shapes so may be fibrous and grouped in sheaf-like aggregates that are narrow in the middle and spread out towards both ends. As all lamprophiles are prone to alteration by weathering a great abundance of secondary minerals is usually found in them. The principal are calcite and other carbonates, limonite, chloride, quartz and kaolin. Ocellar structure is common. The ocelli consists mainly of orthoclase and quartz and may be up to one quarter of an inch in diameter. Another feature of these rocks is the presence of large foreign crystals or xenocrysts of feldspar and of quartz. The forms are rounded, indicating partial resorption and the quartz may be surrounded by corrosion borders of minerals such as ogite and hornblende produced where the magma is attacking the crystal. Lamp profiles traditionally have been defined as normally occurring as porphyritic dikes, containing matrix-restricted feldspars and, or feldsparthoids if present. Biotite of phlogopite is an essential mineral phase, commonly extensively hydrothermally altered, may contain primary calcite, zeolites and other more typically hydrothermal minerals, higher at the normal contents of K2O and or sodium oxide H2O, CO2S, P2O5 and bar. On a purely chemical basis, an extrusive lamp profile might be classified as potassic tracker basalt shoshanide, or latite using the total alkali silica diagram, or as abserokite shoshanide, or banakite using a classification sometimes applied to potassium-rich lavas. Such chemical classifications ignore the distinctive textures and mineralogies of lamp profiles. Nomenclature The naming and classification of lamp profiles has had several revisions and much argument within the geological community. Nicholas Rock and colleagues devoted much time to a complicated descriptive system of nomenclature which
which took after a series of nomenclature based on regional examples of the very diverse mineralogical expression of lamp profiles. This system was based on a somewhat provincial, rustic system of naming after French villages nearby were found the first described examples of various species of lamprefire. Modern nomenclature has been derived from an attempt to constrain some genetic parameters of lamprefire genesis. This has by and large dispensed with the previous provincial names of lamprefire species, in favor of a mineralogical name. The old names are still used for convenience's sake. Vogesite Vogesite was first described from the Vosges Mountains, France, where rocks of this type were described in the early 20th century. Minette A historical view of Minette was provided by Johansson. He wrote that the name was used by the miners in the Vosges apparently for oolitic or granular iron ore, and possibly derived from the valley of Minket, where it occurs. Examples include Minettes in the Navajo volcano field of the Colorado Plateau and in the Mexican Volcanic Belt. Distribution. Lamp profiles are usually associated with voluminous granodiorite intrusive episodes. They occur as marginal faces to some granites, though usually as dikes and sills marginal to and cross-cutting the granites and diorites. In other districts where granites are abundant no rocks of this class are known. It is rare to find only one member of the group present but minets, vogesites, kersentites, etc. All appear and there are usually transitional forms. Lamp profiles are also known to be spatially and temporally associated with gold mineralization, for example orogenic gold deposits. Rock considered lamp profiles to be possible source rocks for the gold, but this view is not generally supported. The more reasonable explanation for the correlation is that lamp profiles representing wet melts of the asthenosphere and mantle correlate with a period of high fluid flow from the mantle through the crust during subduction-related metamorphism, which drives gold mineralization. Non-melolytic lamp profiles are found in many districts where granites and diorites occur, such as the Scottish Highlands and Southern Uplands of Scotland, the Lake District of Northwest England, Ireland, the Vosges Mountains of France, the Black Forest and Hearts Mountain regions of Germany. Germany, Mascota, Mexico, Jamaica and in certain locations of British Columbia, Canada.